Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Vigil! 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 Kevin! so fast. I get to use my squid hopper. This could decide it, folks. That's pretty annoying, you know. Do you have to do it every time? That's right. The championship comes down to this last move. Oh, look here. You found me squid tack toad. Yep. I love this game, Grandma. Oh, I don't blame you, love. Nothing like a good tournament of squid tack toad. You know, your granddad got that for me on our fifth anniversary when we was down under in Bulamanka. Down under what? It means Australia. He and I would hold our own squid tack toad tournaments just around this time of year. Oh, if only he could see his two grandkids playing the squid tack toad he got me on our fifth anniversary. <laughs> Down under in Bulamanka. Oh well, good memories, all that matters. So, how's the tournament coming? Michelle just tied us at two games each. That means just one more to go, and I'll be the champion. Oh, the summer games. Well, I'm sure you're both jolly good opponents, but truth be known, I think the females got the upper hand in this game. What? Why is that? I don't know really. Suppose it could be that dainty fingers are better for the spinners. Well, we'll see about that. Let's go, Michelle, for the championship. Red Babe Tube to D3. Spin. A hush falls over the crowd. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, hi there, Pidgel. Huh? Okay, okay. I know you don't believe me about them being alive and all, but you don't have to keep making fun of me, too. Huh? Yes! Oh, Matt, so close. Well, you're officially Squid Tack Toad Champ. Must be those dainty fingers. Yep, must be. It was a tense battle, but through cunning strategy and sheer skill, I emerged victorious. Well, sure luck anyway. Nice tournament, Champ. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I didn't do anything. I'm the champ. I didn't cheat. Well, of course you didn't cheat, dearie. Huh? You know better than that. Grandmom. You know what the good book says about cheating, don't you? The Lord hates cheating scales, but accurate weights are his delight. I don't know what that means. Say... Oh, well, say I'll take five pounds of socks to the laundry, but the chap at the laundrette fixes his scale so it says I've got ten pounds. Now I've got to pay him double for washing my socks. That's a cheating scale. It's like stealing. But these aren't socks. 
It's the same with playing a game. Except instead of cheating someone out of their money, you're cheating them out of the good feeling they'd get from winning fair and square. And you don't really win, do you, love? When you cheat, everyone loses. That's why God loves it when we play fair. Everyone wins. Not many feelings better than winning fair and square. <laughs> oh. Well, congratulations on your victory. Whoa, sounds like me living sponge is ready. I didn't cheat. I just bent the rules a little. Michelle Francis Conrad! Uh, Jason, it's for you. Not so fast. You're the one we need this time. Jason was right. You guys are alive. Either that or you're daydreaming. Whoa, deja vu. Dr. Fidgel, Galizor. Right away, Captain. Hang on. Duplicate of your brother, only with pigtails. We're we're not identical twins. We're just the same age. Well, I'm I'm five minutes older, but there's no pigeon and no glasses. Wait a minute, Fidgel, you missed the glasses. Right. Sorry. Oh, and don't worry about the glasses. Really, I don't need them. Sure you do, kid. You gotta wear your glasses. Unless they leave red marks on your beak. Oh, they make me look silly. See that? They make me look silly. Uh, I mean, they make her look silly. Nonsense. I'm sure she looks just smashing. Well, crew, why don't we save the chit-chat for our next tea party? Right now, we've got a bandicoot to save. Right. right. Me? No. no. Vigil. Zigil. And that's Kevin! Hello. Nice to meet you all. My brother has told me a lot about you. All good, I hope. <laughs> uh, anyway. Look, Michelle, we got word of a problem at the Colossal Aussie Coliseum on Space Base Pulamanca. Co Col Colosseum? Up, back, down, under, counter, clockwise. We received a strange distress call from the King of the Bandicoots. Bandicoots! He is hosting the Royal Grand Tournament of one of their local traditional games. However, it seems the final championship game has been suspended under some kind of protest. And we've been instructed to go and help sort things out. Yes, as ombudsman. Ombudsman, a group sent to help settle an argument. Wow, so let's get on with the mission. Buckle up for landing, everyone. Whoa, slow down there, Missy. I don't think you have a full appreciation of the demands of space travel. It's much... <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, space travel can take hours, days, even several days. It's not like in those TV shows where they just go zipping around. Coming up on Bulamenka. Uh, buckle up for landing, everyone. Right. 
Say, that terrain looks pretty rough. Uh, what's the landing approach protocol for this scenario? Engage landing gear. Engaging landing gear. Fantastic. First try at the new landing gear. Hope it works. You mean you've never tested it? Tested? Tested? Tested. I like your pigtail. When's tea? Mitchell, you're a genius. Smoothest landing yet. Like butter. Why, thank you. You're all too kind. What, did the landing gear break off? Identical. Oi, Penguin, you can't just lob in on our tournament here. Easy there, my good lizard. We've come only to arbitrate the contest. They tell him to let me out of this cage. I'm endangered, mate. Who said that? Never you mind, because you're too late. The game has been won, and I'm the new champ. And as I am the new champ, I'm taking my right as champ to drop the loser's pieces down the gun, as is my right. Hang on a dick, he cheated. Boy, you. That was freaky. Hold it. If you're the winner, where's the other player? Over here, mate. I don't want to be sent down the gurgler. How did he get in that cage? I was winning, and those blokes stuck me in here. That lizard's a cheat! As you can plainly see, there's no opponent over there. The game is over, I win by forfeit. But that doesn't make any sense. Whoa, slow down there, Missy. I think this gentleman understands the rules of the game. After all, he is the champion. Penguins, huddle! Um, right. Uh, huddle up, everybody! Okay. So, uh, what do we do? Well, you know, no job's too hard when you use... I recognize what it is they're playing. It's a great big version of Squid Tack Toad. I've played it before. Actually, back on Earth, I'm the champion. Champion? Uh, yeah, champion. Plus, I'm a girl. I have the upper hand. Well, that may be, Michelle. But... Michelle? Michelle the champion? Hey! You can't peek into our huddle. That's cheating. Well, I'm a great admirer of yours, Michelle. Your fame as a squid tech toad player is known throughout the galaxy. It is? I've studied your tactics. I know of your strategies. I must say, I'm impressed. You are? Impressed, but not intimidated, because I myself am of champion caliber as well. I know what you're thinking. But he's not a girl. How could he ever become chap? Well, have a look at these! Well, Michelle, how's about a game? Double or nothing. What? You win, everyone goes free. I win, all the captured pieces take a trip down the curb. Just what does that mean, exactly? It means you'll never see them again! Now, see here! Hello. Yes, right. Okay then, uh, we'll be right with you. What do you think? Can you take him? I don't think we've got much choice now, do we? You can do it, Michelle. We believe in you. Okay, I'll do it. I think I could take him. I've got to save the Bandicoot King of Bolamenka from going down the Gurgler. Yeah, yeah Michelle! So, you're going to give it a bash then, eh? That Right? Where are my game pieces? Well, I've got most of mine. But seems most of yours are up there. And as anyone knows, an unarmed opponent means a forfeit. It also means I win again! What? I'm still reigning champ, and it looks like you're up the gum tree. Sorry, Michelle. It's all to you too, Mr. Bandicoot! Wait! I... I'll find my own pieces. Now, where in the galaxy are you gonna find three more red knife ibs? Yeah. 
You'll need another squid hopper. Let the games begin! to D3. Well, I can see that I'm dealing with a formidable opponent. Yellow-capped Whopper Dinghy to B2, Toad Roller. It's a didgeridoo! Oh no. Wait a minute, he cheated. I saw him. 
Hold on there, lizard. There will be no talking about the game pieces. Whoa. Hey, hey, not so fast. But I saw him. Silence! Sorry, well, you can't hold up that cage forever, Squiddy. So, how's about I help speed things along? Wait! Uh, uh. The Lord hates cheating scales, but accurate weights are his delight. I don't know what that means. No, wait! Listen to me. If you've got five pounds of socks in a ten-pound basket. Well, where are you? When you cheat, you're taking something that isn't yours. Not only are you taking away my chance to win the game and save my friends, you're also taking away your own chance to win the game fair and square, to be a real champion. God loves it when we play fair. That way everyone wins. And there aren't many feelings better than winning fair and square. something there, Missy. I've won a lot of games by cheating, but of all the things it's got me, a good feeling wasn't one of them. The only way to really be a winner is to play by the rules. <coughs> well then, how's about another game then, mate? This time, on the level. Reset the playing field. Sorry about the cheat, mate. No worries, mate. Well done, Michelle. Say, how do you like the redhead look? Eh, too woodpecker. Starlate Saturday. The Bandicoot King of Bulamanka has been saved thanks to Michelle's excellent game playing skills and her wonderful oratory on playing by the rules. Uh, hold on, Stardate. For someone who just saved an endangered king, you're looking a little blue. Oxygen levels okay? It's just that, well, I'm not really feeling like a champion. And why is that? Well, it's not the oxygen levels, I can assure you. It's probably because when Jason and I played the final championship game, I cheated to win. <gasps> there they go. I just really wanted to win that last game against Jason. But afterwards, the more I thought about it, the worse I felt about the tournament, Jason, everything. You know, Michelle, we had a saying back at the academy. Cheating always. Uh, oh, okay. How did that go? Uh, right. Cheating never. Uh, no, wait, that's not it. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Ah, when a cheater cheats, the cheaty. Uh, I think I know what I need to do. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Uh, cheatery! Ah, what? Whoa! Hey there, champ. You seen that toy spaceship anywhere? You mean the penguin ship? Yeah, it's. Wait a minute. I thought... Jason, I've learned a thing or two. Hmm. Wasn't it cool? All right, me loves. Lights out. Don't forget to say your prayers. Dear God, thank you for Mom and Dad, and keep them safe on their trip. And for Grandma, and for the penguins, and for the squid tack toad game. Even though Michelle is the champ. Uh, Jason? Yeah? About that game. I'm not really the champ. What? I cheated. But I learned a lot about playing by the rules with the penguins. Oh. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Uh, sure. But you know what this means? What? Rematch. After breakfast. You're on. And thanks for teaching me that I need to play fair and square. And help, help me to beat J. Show. Amen. How many mutants of J.9 does it take to screw on a light bulb? That data is unavailable. Two thirds! Humorous. Tell me, why did the robot cross the road? I don't know. Why did the robot cross the road? Because it was carbon bonded to the chicken. Speaking of crossing the road, I thought we were going to take a trip to the sun. That is absurd. Our chassis would not withstand the intense heat of a journey to the sun. How would we accomplish this objective? We'd just go at night. Speaking of the sun, two hydrogen atoms were walking down the road. The aforementioned one? With the chicken? No. Two hydrogen atoms were walking down a different road. And one says to the other, Oh dear, I think I've lost an electron. Really, the other ask? Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive! Right, that was the ventriloquist and Rusty, and appearing next on stage here at the fabulous Comet Lounge. Their very first appearance anywhere, it's a small group of penguins. Cheat. That nervous grin Think you're charming, think you're neat That scaly skin Scaly hands and scaly feet I just can't bear You can see it on his face I'm in despair You can tell because he frowns When you do that thing Thingy, 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 oh Like the lizard king The bloke who cheated in the show You say G7's empty as you smile and bite your lip But you know from the four pigs in a row that he's egg your battleship And you're telling her to go fish, it ain't going like you planned Cause the hearts that she just asked for are beaten in your hand Oh, you hate to be the loser, so you always gotta win But I'm telling you son, playing ain't no fun with a cheating champion, yeah Take another look at the good book God wants us to play fair, yeah Winning is for losers Unless it's fair and square Unless it's fair and square 
You say it's Colonel Mustard in the den with a candlestick. But that's not right, because Mrs. White's in the ballroom with a brick. And you move your bishop sideways. Hey, so your punk can steal my queen. Ooh, man, I ain't staying with your dirty blade. It's the worst I've ever seen. Oh, you hate to be the loser, so you always gotta win. But I'm telling you, son, play it ain't no fun with a cheating champion. Yeah, take another look at the good book. God wants us to play fair. Yeah, winning is for losers. Unless it's fair and square Yeah, winning is for losers Unless it's fair and square